Is the Pac-12 negotiating NASCAR's new media rights deal? NASCAR's next TV deal from 2025 and beyond was supposed to be done by July 4th. The series had basically said that they wanted to have handshake agreements with their partners by July 4th. That date came and passed and there was nothing to announce. And then they said it'll be done by Labor Day. And that date came and passed and we're now halfway through October. And the series is now being like, well, you know, it, we're not putting a time frame on it anymore. That's not a bad thing. This deal's still going to get done. And there's just some small minor things that are, you know, causing this to be hung up. But what is the future of NASCAR's media rights deal specifically for the Cup Series? Since we already know the Xfinity Series is going over to the CW starting in 2025. Right now, we know that the NASCAR media rights deal during this current 10-year contract that they have with both Fox and NBC pays out about $820, $830 million annually, and that's split up amongst the teams, NASCAR, and the racetracks. Obviously, the teams want a bigger slice of that pie starting in 2025, and NASCAR is going to see a slight increase in the amount of money being paid out for their live media rights. They're currently negotiating with both Fox, NBC, and by the sounds of it, Amazon, and potentially Turner to put it on HBO Max. So either way, what we do know is that Fox and their sideshow comedy, along with their cartoons, are going to have the first half of the year with Mike Joy, more than likely, Kevin Harvick, and Clint Boyer in his country shtick, leading us through the Daytona 500 and probably, you know, into uh, the first weekend of June, or at least through the Coca-Cola 600. After that, we have what could potentially be a six-race summer deal with either Turner, HBO Max, or Max, as they want to call it, because they got rid of the HBO brand, because that was really smart to do with all the brand equity HBO has built up in it. So stupid. Or go with Amazon. For a six-race period, that's going to pay them out money. So when the streaming partners want to get into live media rights deal, that's kind of thrown a wrench into the traditional, you know, cable network style, you know, negotiating. And now NASCAR sees that there's money to be made there. They need to get more money because the teams want more money. And they're looking at the streaming partner to be like, okay, we'll give you, you know, X amount of races for however many dollars. We're not really sure what they're going to, you know, charge for that six race deal. But you have to imagine that there's going to be a marquee race of some sort in that package because they can't just send them to Loudoun, Michigan, and Pocono for, you know, three of those six races. There's going to have to be something substantial in there to entice them. And then we know that NBC is negotiating right now with NASCAR to have the second half of the year like they have currently. So Rick Allen is still going to be screaming at us. It's going to be aggressive. Denny Hamlin out front. Aggressive goes around. That's Jeff Burton in that really wonderful voice to listen to is going to be telling us how no driver's ever wrong. And they're going to continue having it, which... It's not necessarily a bad thing at all. NASCAR loves continuity. NASCAR doesn't like change a lot unless Ben Kennedy's leading the way because, you know, they desperately needed to finally change. But what we do know, again, is that, you know, the, right now they're getting paid out 820-ish million dollars a year. They would like to bump that up. Whether that reaches 900 million dollars a year, a billion dollars a year, likely that latter part doesn't happen. Currently, Fox has a $3.8 billion deal with NASCAR over 10 years, and NBC has a $4.4 billion deal with NASCAR over 10 years. NBC is more because they do have more races on their schedule, and they also have the playoffs and everything else that goes on uh, into that. Fox, of course, has the Daytona 500, the marquee race of the year, as well as the Coke 600, and they also have the two exhibition races as well with the Clash and the All-Star Race. Uh, what's happening with the Truck Series media rights? Literally no talk about that. Uh, I made a video about Fox wanting or basically destroying the sport. Uh, I think everybody wants Fox to get out of the truck series game. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, them going with a streaming partner or also on the CW would have been amazing, but it doesn't seem like that's happening. The CW, meanwhile, will be paying the Xfinity Series $115 million a year annually starting in 2025 through 2031. Great news for the Xfinity Series. And you're probably wondering, how does that compare to what they're being paid now? Well, we don't actually know because, well, there's nothing out there to tell us how much they're currently being paid because it's likely all packaged together in that Fox deal. So, or NBC deal as well. So where we sit right now is basically where NASCAR has been sitting at for a while. We know that the first half is going to be on Fox. We know the second half is going to be on NBC. And we know that the six race summer stretch is likely going to be on Amazon Prime or on HBO Max. 
I'm going to call it HBO Max forever. And that's not a bad thing, right? Everybody's like, oh, it's behind a paywall. Well, right now when races are in FS1 or USA, that's behind a paywall as well on your cable. I know a lot of people view their cable as just like this monthly bill and don't actually view it as a paywall the same way that you view, you know, an Amazon Prime or a Max as a subscription-based paywall, but it is in the grand scheme of things. And for those six races, you're only going to have to pay a month or two months, depending on if you wanna watch all the races, of that service. So you're looking at 15 to $30 uh, over the course of two months. I mean, if we wanna count pennies here, we can, but that's really not that much money in the grand scheme of things. So that's sort of where we're at. Right now, whether or not this deal gets announced by the end of the year seems unlikely considering that there's only three races left in the season. I imagine they want to have this deal done by the Daytona 500. That way it allows both of their TV partners to ramp up promotion as the season goes on. It allows the streaming partner as well to be like coming next summer. You get to see NASCAR on this streaming service for six weeks, including whatever race. And it would make total sense for them to have it wrapped up by then. And hopefully we find out where the truck series is headed out in the future. And we all pray to Dale that it doesn't end up on Fox with Jamie Little, Phil Parsons, and Michael Waltrip wondering where the heck he's at every single week doing remote broadcasts. Ah, I can't handle it. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.